Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revival Tournaments. This is Gold Mason, and I am joined by Mad Dog. G'day everyone. Throwing the little the Aussie greeting. Oh beautiful. Sounded perfect. Anyways, we're here for our first ADVPL um, coverage. Uh, this is week one, and it is a best of three. Yes, we are back to best of three season, sort of. Woohoo! Yeah. The best, the best ADV content is best of three. I think everybody, well, most people can agree. Just in general, Pokemon content. Yeah, well, best you of know. three. You know. Anyways, we're anyway, here <laughs> with uh, Star Master from the Whirland Kingdras versus Sadlicius from the Scythe Lords. It's going to be a uh, fantastic set, and we're going to jump right into two. it. Yeah, two SPL level players in the best of three. Yeah, very exciting with uh, with custom avatars. Yeah, always always going to be a good set. Mensa Zap, Hard Scum, Hard Blissey, Hard's the Mensa set. Go Starmie. It's probably oh we'll see because I know Star Masters run like a band with no mag before, so a band Mensa. Yeah, band Mensa with Scarm Starm. Some sort of spike special offense from sadly. Yeah. Uh, that no lefties on the mints. Yep, exactly. So it probably is uh, banded. Knock on Swamp, it's helpful. Yeah. So I'm guessing both are Sandlers. Um, yeah, starts trading down health on the Scarm. It's not going to be a spin on Sadly's side, so that spike is probably up for a while. Yeah, which is really helpful against these special teams. I don't know that I like trading layers for Sadlicius here. Oh, going for a taunt there. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. And then we see... Yeah, banded brick break. What was that Brick Break trying to hit, actually? I guess just spread damage. Mid-ground, yeah. Starmy, and Swampert? I, I saw Douglas with the sub-CM. It must be... I'm not sure what it would be lost for, sadly. Uh, some sort of flyer, probably. Maybe uh, Gengar works, or... Oh, wow. Yeah, Gar might be a good call there. Big crit. Obviously would have took K'd, but it would have got rid of the um the sub. Blissey Vince, was a good yeah. Blissey was a good uh, double back there for Star. Yeah, smart. And you can't go back to Jirachi. Um gets the wish off, heals up the scum. Which is big. Yeah, get the third layer down. Not now, of course, Respect. in the face of Zapdos, but at some point. Yeah. Oh, there is a, there oh, is a sand. Was... There you go, it is Tar. Must be a DD Tar, I'd say. Yep. Mint's got its health back, but that Tyranitar is terrifying. Yeah, with the Pert dead, there's no real rock resist. Yeah. Luckily, got the wish over to Skarmory. I mean, if this was happening when Skarmory was uh, very low, like, might just be the end of the game. Yeah. Because maybe you can muck around with Armaldo living one, but it's, wow. it's a rough position anyway, and that's massive. So that spike stays up. Unless yeah, the Armaldo has damage, spin. Yeah. Oh, it had knockoff, so it can't have spin. Oh, is that a thing? I didn't know that about Armaldo. Yeah, yeah it's the egg moves. You learn something new every day, folks. Uh, Armaldo <laughs> cannot run Rapid Spin and Knock Off in the same set. I did not know that. I'm not an Armaldo yeah. gamer, unfortunately. I think uh, most ADV players have seen Armaldo's moveset and gotten real excited before 
realizing <laughs> that. <laughs> I yeah, that that hidden power from Mens was really bad idea. Let's target him in and get a DD off for free. Yeah, but Star's in a in a real tough spot here regardless. It's sort of just hoping for chokes. Absolutely. Yep. Looks like Sadlesius takes that one down. Yeah, um, Starmaster saying in the chat, kind of needed the Starmie. I definitely agree there. I think that Starmie not taking that critical hit would have been uh, would have been a different ball game. Um, also, same the, thing with the Pert. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the Pert hadn't been uh, hadn't been crit by the Jirachi, admittedly it was Thunderbolt Grass Pert or Thunderbolt Grass Jirachi. So I mean, that Pert was going to take massive damage either way from a Calm Mind to Jirachi, but yeah. Between the the Drachi set and the Tita, I was gonna get worn down, but yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I like Sadly's the... team. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I I didn't hate Star Masters either, and I mean the um, the knockoff on the Toxic Pert definitely looked like it was going to be you know viable for a long game strat. Just needed uh, needed a little bit better it, RNG. Basically. Yeah. But we're on to game two. That's the best part of uh, the best of three slot in ADVPL, is that you might lose the first game, but you can win the next two. Okay, we see the five loss from Titar. This guy just takes spikes. Gets the burn, which really sucks, especially now that we see Flurry. Star can't play the long game with Scarm. Not with that. Um, there's a chance. Oh, Scar Mag, so that, you know, softens the blow a bit. Oh, it might be Charcoal, because it gets a clean 100% hit on 4 -E. Yeah. And pressures perfectly with the Aerodactyl. The Celebi is going to have to switch out instead of potentially Baton passing. Uh, it's... The Mag is still a roll with uh, Max Modus. So... Not necessarily charcoal, could have just got the roll with modest. Fair enough, fair enough. Wow. Thanks the boom, but a bit of a preemptive low. boom there. Will be soaked tar though, so uh, does crunch, yeah good. Gets the arrow. Nice. Arrow back in. It's not looking great for Sedlesius. Yeah, for sure. Okay, it's probably a monoper. Makes sense with Fari. Zapdos. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of maintaining pert health because there is a revealed Aerodactyl and it's always terrifying. Um, but uh, yeah. Has the perfect pert set for the arrow too, so it should be shouldn't be too much of a threat uh, with only a, a spike up. But Blissey, unfortunately, is the bigger problem. Yeah, yeah. If you have to make this health trade, then that's where the arrow sweep will come in. Okay, so it's not toxic on pert. Unless he was trying to catch uh, Mag. Oh, she, sorry. My bad. Yeah, this is, um, yeah. Bert's going to go down here, and I don't know if, sadly, he has, uh, I guess, an Ice Beam Freeze. Yeah, that would have been, that would have been really it. This is probably, uh... The end of the road. Celebi might get some uh, CM up here. Oh, goes for the Giga Drain, which is pretty smart. Aerodactyl coming in would have been devastating. I can see why sadly uh, went for the early boom. Trying to get that Blissey at all costs. Yeah, I mean, without uh, without the spikes from Fori, Blissey was going to be very tough. Making some heads up stays, um, trying to stay in with Zapdos, meaning uh, uh, catches the Thunderwave. I was thinking maybe 
maybe like agility on Zapdos could do it, but yeah, potentially. Yeah, tough. Maybe the line was to calm mind a few more times, but Blissey was going to get the health back regardless. I think you need a lot of calm minds for Blissey to, or for Zapdos to be able to uh, <laughs> kill a Blissey there. Yeah. Blissey should be able to win from here. Looking like it. Sadly gone really uh, special offense heavy with the team she has been bringing. Must have seen something in the scout. Possibly. Um, oh, that was a critical hit. I was like, how did that Giga Drain get out of range of the seismic toss? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's the Thunder Wave. I was surprised we didn't see it first up. Yeah, and Star Master takes it down. Oh, we got our uh, deciding match. Uh, you love to see a game three, don't you? I wonder if it'll be more special offense from Sadly. Yeah, gotta There's respect another the, lead. the Blissey from Star Master. It's definitely Star Master's uh, comfort hair. Oh my! A Quite very, the read from Star. A very a nice read. Going to see Star Master switch out here, probably. Yeah, there's the Metagross. Ancient power! <laughs> it's the meme. Worth noting, if, uh, sadly had gotten a raise there. I mean, plus one Fire Blast probably kills. Haunt Scarm versus Thief Scarm. It's pretty big for Star. That Scarm stays at 40% for the rest of the game. Yeah, absolutely. No chip healing and probably only the one spike. Gengar comes in. Giga Drain. So probably Fire Punch. The Gengar's going to have to switch out here. Yeah, I definitely agree with you that uh, that Thief was huge, and Celebi's getting a lot of mileage against this team. The whole the whole team is now uh, terrified of Celebi. Blissey. Yeah, Star does need a spark up though, just to help uh, Chip stay. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Star can definitely play it slower than Sadly can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is really bad. Skarmory is going to have to switch right back out. Oh. Ooh, the HP Grass comes out, catches the Tita. Goes for it. Must have been a low roll first. Not sure what the odds of that were, but. Yeah, it wasn't a critical Pretty big hit. losing the car. Yeah. I, I yeah, like. Here's the spike. I like that Earthquake from Sadly, trying to catch like a Metagross coming in, or a Starmie, either way. Um, but unfortunately... Yeah, she's a bit behind, so you have to make those aggro raids. Yeah. Just trying to trade health to open up a potential area sweep. Yeah. Trade Metagross health into Swamp Bird and let uh, let the men go start. Go and spin. Oh, yeah. Go Scarm. Tries to raise tempo with more spikes. There's definitely lines for Sedlesius and it is still Pokemon. So anything can happen. Uh, three spikes Yeah, it's all is... about... It's all about the arrow, I think. Yeah, absolutely. You also know Celebi is an HP fire, so... Um, maybe Skarm can live on and try and 
get more spikes this later. Is... Oh. I... Okay, so it's not psychic. It's we probably think. psychic, but expected to switch to to Blissey. It's Leech Seed, Hidden Power Grass, or Cover almost certainly is psychic last slot. Unless it's like a Baton Pass and Mono Grass. Good Rock Slide. Crash is the Mint. That's really good. Is it? Yeah. It's going to go Metagross on another Rock Slide. I think, unfortunately, now, sadly, has to go to Skarm or Swampert. Yep. Skarmory. It is going to get it all its health back. But at least it gets this extra spike. That helps. Yeah, that is a very slow Metagross. Or a very... Oh, no, it's a Taunt Skarm, so it's faster. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Gengar is quite threatening here. Um, it is... It's, it's a good set into this team. Mm -hmm. It's a Will-O-Wisp taunt as well with Fire Punch and Giga Drain. Yep. It was That was an aggro play, but sadly doesn't need health on the arrow, so it was smart to keep the Blissey low. Oh. Uh, that sucks, because... Keeps the Intimidate around for later, and an extra sack. Um, but that extra spike, meaning that chip will stay. Yeah, it's actually still okay. It's still manageable, sort of, for sadly. Um, probably let's Pert... We probably let Pert go? No. Yeah. Just like last I think game. She might be trying to get lefties back into two EQs. I, I feel like it's it's once again hoping for some sort of uh, some sort of uh, ice beam freeze or something. Cause yeah, Celebi is just Celebi is just putting in a ton of work this game. Still haven't seen the psychic come out of Celebi though. Yeah, we haven't seen the fourth move. I have I have to imagine that it's like Unless it's like Curse Song. Maybe? Curse yeah, Stami. that would be possible. It's a tough spot. You don't wanna let a free spin go. But Star calls out the arrow stay. Well he I guess either way you surf, because you either kill arrow or you kill the Gengar. And you probably too carry Swamp it, so yeah, that's fair. Yeah, get Gengar uh, paralyzed, which means that Metagross is just going to take it down. Yeah. Attack boost definitely helps. Yeah, that Metagross was... Is... The... Yeah. The only chance here now is a missed Meteor Mash. And start rightfully protecting first to uh, maybe get out of range of that fire punch. Just in case. Oh, that's the game. In the end, yeah, the bulkier teams from Starmaster being able to uh, wall the all Sadly's teams. Yeah, um, I'm actually uh, a huge fan of Triple Nat Cure. Uh, the star me sell the Blissey, especially into certain opponents. Um, they're, they have a lot of trouble dealing with the fact that you're able to pivot around with those. I do have to, you're probably right that that Celebi had to be like a parish song last to, I guess, uh, I guess for Suicune just to try and shore up that matchup. Oh yeah. Yeah. Especially like a raw Suicune or a sub Suicune yeah. that beats Blissey. Yeah. And then, uh, the Starmie was uh, defensive, but faster than Gengar, so probably a timid, like, 341 Starmie, something like that. Maybe also for sub-CM Jirachi, because I could see that matchup being a bit tough. Yeah, yeah. 
And you don't really need Psychic. You have a lot of ways to deal with Gengar, including the Blissey, obviously, and the Starmie being faster than most Gengars, and... Yeah. Yeah, and you still get the chip on it through uh, Leech Seed, so... Mm -hmm. Very well played from both battlers. Uh, Star Master coming out on top in the best of three. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I believe the uh, Whirland Kingdras and the Scythe Lords tied week one. Um, so both teams uh, won five out of five. We're going to have a lot more ADVPL content coming at you. And thank you for joining me, Mad Dog, today. No worries. I'll see if I can get on a few more recordings. Absolutely. We will see you next time on more ADV revival contents. Ooh, excuse me. ADV revival content. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Later.